Danielle, welcome. Uh, in screen we have what looks like one of the Kambula lionesses and she's just been contact calling. And then over there we have some elephants wallowing in the mud. Hi Darcy, welcome. Listen to a contact calling here. Hi Barbara, welcome. Texas Mama. Yes, uh, we've we haven't been on TikTok for a while. Morning seasons of Philly. We are watching what I think is one of the Kambula lionesses and she's contact calling. I'm not sure who she's looking for. I'm trying to get a good idea to see if she's lactating or not. So, couldn't quite see who that was, but someone saying that it's in Bambili watched a kill. It's brilliant. So we did actually follow the um, Dan's on channel two, Reggie. We did actually follow the How are you doing, Shame Schmulovitz? They actually follow the Kambula Pride through this area this morning and I don't know if she's looking for them or if this is the lioness who's lactating but I think she's looking for the rest of the pride. We'll just follow her and find out. But if she is looking for the rest of the pride she's pointing her nose. She's here, Reggie. Hello? Reggie, it's not here. Stephen Lynch, welcome from Dublin, Ireland. Darcy Miller asking how many members are in the Kambula Pride. Darcy, we don't have an accurate head count on them at the moment. Just hold on a second, someone's looking for me on the radio. Go, Reggie. Yeah, I've got so much only down that's going south. Affirmative. Copy, I'll be keen also head south via Skakuza Road, follow up on the last of the Madaj. Copy. So someone asking about the looming fight between the um, Gari males and the Avaka males. Barbara asking, have the Avaka males see, been seen? Yes, they have. Deep within the Gari males territory. In fact, I was en route to the Avaka males. Um, they're not all that far from here, but I'm not sure if there's any signal there. The Gari males themselves are also in their own territory. I'd say the distance, at least one of them, I'd say the distance between them is probably about, as a crow flies, maybe two kilometers apart from each other. I'm just going to get myself into a bit more comfortable position because I'm sitting very awkwardly. As I started the vehicle, she started roaring, so I stopped. Darcy, the vodka males are fine. They're looking good. Okay, let me get into position here. Contact calling. It's 
I'm not I'm with her. She's a new fire breaks out the fridge tree tracks but then she is contact calling. Okay, that's better. Right, okay. Mark, uh, can you please organize the vehicle stop for me? I'm driving D9. It's uh, again making a loud noise. I I've already swapped out this vehicle, went to the workshop yesterday and I'm driving it again today, but yeah, the issue hasn't been fixed. So, uh, some of the guys, some of the, um, Kambula members have actually been mating with the guy emails. Obviously, it's the females that have been mating with them, and I think the young males, the young lions, are avoiding them at all costs. get back to the question earlier about how many uh, members of the Kambula Pride are there. Because the cubs are at an age where the males uh, have to, you know, they're getting to that age where they almost have to leave the Pride. And because the Pride's so large, they've been split up and because of the, the Vaca males moving in and some of the lionesses mating with them and one of the lionesses giving birth to cubs, they're actually quite fragmented. So you don't have a clear idea on exactly who or how many there are currently. It's been a long time since we've seen them all together and when we do see them we see them you know time yesterday or this morning we saw nine together um, the gari males have been roaring there's been a lot of roaring going on this morning that single gari male near our airstrip was uh, roaring in the direction of the northern avaka males. We didn't hear them respond, um, but apparently the two of the brothers, the two northern avaka males, are together with two Kambula lionesses. Now I was en route there and um, found this lioness en route. She is active and she is calling, so it makes sense to stick with her. You know, it is quite warm here. <laughs> But um, all, so each time I talk, she wants to roar. But it seems as though the northern Vakas are moving in on the Gary Mail territory. they are more of a presence in this area. Um, I can only imagine that they are going to make contact at some point. But the line dynamics certainly are very interesting here at Mala Mala. We've been seeing not only the northern of Vakas here, but we've seen the um, Tortured Pride in a similar area, and then Kuhuma Pride, the Kambula Pride, and the northern of Vaka males, and the Gari males, all very within very close proximity of each other. So the line dynamics are certainly heating up here. We've also seen those two males from Kruger uh, more regularly on the property. So you know, it's not just the northern of Vaka males in the mixture. There are some other lions here as well. And um, we'll have just... 
So it just seems a bit less shaky if I zoom out a bit. Uh, you must have been seeing the fawn Zenga males further in the south. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the video that's doing the round with the, the rounds of the um, terrapin uh, approaching the lions while they're drinking. One sticks lioness and one of the Nzenga males. Just, uh, yeah, that uh, little terrapin was after the blood on the f around those lions' mouths. The lions weren't enjoying its presence too much, but yeah, it's, it's that particular video has certainly done well. It's doing the rounds. If you haven't seen it yet, go to our YouTube channel and have a look. Seems as though she's pointing in the right direction now. I don't know if one of the lions responded. Or she's just looking at the elephants there. And then I'm just going to turn this up a bit. Yeah, Kylie, we think that we haven't seen them all together, so it's very difficult to tell when you just see a few of them at a time. Um, but on, in other news, I was actually, when I set out this afternoon, I was actually quite keen to. I was actually keen to go and have a look at the Nkoveni female. Uh, those of you might know that she, some of you might know that she has cubs. And uh, I actually watched her make a kill two days ago. She's an incredible hunter. We love her for that reason. As I arrived on the scene, she ran in and killed one of the rutting impalas. You know, there's impalas. They've all got female impalas on the brain, so they're not thinking all that clearly. And uh, they seem to be killing, being killed very often here. And then Kaveni killed an adult ram and um, then proceeded to go and call her two young cubs and has been feeding on that young ram. And just as they're about to finish the carcass, we found her with a second impala ram that she had killed. So she's killed two impalas in the same sort of area and has been feeding on them over the last sort of four days with two young cubs that we've had the pleasure of viewing. We are currently guests with those animals, so we're not going to go there just yet, and we don't view them at night. And um, should the opportunity arise, perhaps we'll go there. Sammy Jane, welcome back. Astrid McNulty. I don't know if any of you can see the video live. Uh, I certainly can. 
any update on the Three Rivers female? Barbara, yes, there is an update. So the leopard, it's not only the lion dynamics that has been interesting, the leopard dynamics has been probably even more interesting at the moment. Um, so then Gorbazwan male was seen mating for the first time with the Tebe rocks female, who was seen mating for the first time. And both of them have been mating on and off for about a month. Yesterday we found the Ngobazwan male with the Plark Rock female and the Plark Rock female looked like she was trying to mate with the Ngobazwan male. He was not interested. Um, he was trying to get away from the whole time and she was just following him. Then the Three Rivers female has been seen mating with the Maxims male and I think we have put a video up on YouTube. We haven't seen So there's lots of leopards mating at this time. Um, but yeah, and you know, we saw the flat rock male just a couple of days ago, and he was in an area where the Maxims male is pushing into you. So, yeah, um, asking about Salala lioness and her sub adult cub. Um, so the Martley Pride is uh, is doing well. Um, trying to think when we last saw them was this about a week ago? Um and they were seen, someone was having a coffee break on Stwice, one of the copies here. And he saw her from, or saw the two of them walking down the road. He climbed down the copy, but couldn't find them. Um, but they are around, around, and then we know they're doing well. So that's good news. And they are, you know, kind of in the thick of it. They, you know, in between all these other lions on the property. There's very many lions on the property at the moment. And Carolina, did you find the island female cub? Yes. We haven't seen the island female and cub in a few days, but I'm guessing that what you're referring to is the video where she was um, looking for the cub. Uh, she certainly did find the cub, and we've had a few sightings of her with the cub since then. Um, but, uh, you know, we were seeing her every single day, and we haven't seen her in about four days. So I'm sure a lot of the rangers will be looking for her soon. I think we've been distracted by other sightings. Hi Annette, welcome back. Please, you could join us. Jamper, yes, this female was by herself. I didn't get a good look at her, but I suspect it's the one that has had cubs. Um, we're not sure where she's denning those cubs, but she has been hanging around Mala Mala camp itself. I walked into her twice in the last few days. Um, yeah, she was hunting Nyala's in the camp, so we had to be careful with all the guests around. Uh, but luckily she didn't look too interested in any humans. Yes, uh, Kylie talking about one of the guy emails. Papi Chulo, this is not a first. Uh, we have done a few live streams. Future. Um, we've been very fortunate in getting guests back here at Mala Mala. So we've been doing a lot of driving around with guests. And because of that, um, we haven't been able to do too many live streams. Um, but we are looking to do more in future. It is <laughs> becoming our busy season now that winter's around the corner. You can see the Grass has turned golden. It's not green anymore. The mornings are cold. The evenings are cold. 
And as you get deeper into winter, the game viewing is just going to increase in intensity. It's already very intense. And uh, we're enjoying some amazing sightings. And um, yeah, we're enjoying taking guests out to see them firsthand. Um, but yeah, hopefully we do get to the point where we normalize and that live streams become uh, part of our daily operation. You can hear a lion calling in the distance there. You can see she's listening intently. Now she's responding. SA guy asking, does Mala Mala class itself as part of the Sabi Sands anymore? Or is it independent now? Um, SA guy, the Sabi Sands, oh, there's a lion calling from up there in the distance. She's looking the wrong, the wrong way. I don't know if you can see it there. There it comes. You can hear them calling now. The station, there's a second line in the area of this lioness. Let's see if I break south of her, she's calling. It seems like uh, this lion has just walked by and she's still looking in the wrong direction. But it sounds like some of the other lions are heading this way. I can hear a few lions calling. So about the zooming in and out, I'm struggling to do this. Yeah, now she's looking in the right direction. But yeah, I think the other lions are going to pop out of the woodwork now in a minute. Uh, there it is, it's coming down the road, it's actually jogging this way now. Don't know if you can see it there. Yeah. Still doesn't know where she is. <laughs> Very funny. And she's just laying low here. Silly lion. Come on, man. Say hello to your offspring. Still calling. Here comes the second. Look here. Come on, lady, stop them. You're never going to realize that one has just smelled air. So I'll get back to questions in a minute. But uh, these two are being a bit silly here. Just ran straight past mum. I'm just going to... Stations two of the young male lions from the Kambula Pride have approached the area of the single lioness. I'm just going to reverse a bit so these lions can actually see Mama. I don't know. They're acting, they're not being very smart. The fathers of these lions are the Gari males.
I know a lot of you out there are very interested and keen on um, the movements of these cats, particularly the northern avoca males moving in. Um, I don't know. I'm looking, I don't know if we would be able to do this, but maybe just to get an idea of whether you, as viewers and subscribers, might be interested in something like this. Um, if we were to play the radio of us on Game Drive, uh, would anybody be interested in listening to that so you could get your news hot off the press? <laughs> Moomin Rider saying dirt. Sounds like an epic idea. Yeah, look, it might, uh, I don't know how, um, we'd have to just see if it works for us as an organization, but it's maybe something that I'll put forward and uh, perhaps we'll do that to keep you all in the loop because at the moment it is quite difficult for us to bring you live streams every day but maybe that's a way around it so at least you're getting your fix of the of what's going going on on the ground punisher you we'd love to go live a few hours every day i uh, don't think that's going to happen yeah they just heard mom calling finally pretty loud come on Walk a few more meters and you'll see her. Uh, that's probably more lions coming through where the elephants are. Okay, now they've obviously seen mom here. Hi Kathleen, welcome. Okay, there we go. Reunited. She is being a little bit, a little bit defensive. See her growling and snarling at this lion. It's obviously because she's got cubs. Ah, oh, see all the lions being chased by elephants there. <laughs> uh, let's try and get a view of this. Stations, there's more lines heading north towards the position of the single lioness and two young males, and they're being chased by elephants. You can see the lions are looking in the distance there. I don't know if you can see that one in the distance. Here he comes. Is it a him? If you have a look at this lion on the right, just above his left ear, you can see something moving in the distance there. That's a lion. Cameron Ings! Champion. <laughs> nice to see you there, Cameron. Um, coming down to Cape Town in November. I expect that we'll be meeting for a cup of tea. Steve. Uh, Tilda's Lee saying, do you ever get frightened when you're so close to the lions? Most of the time, not Steve. Uh, there's been one occasion where I have been frightened. <laughs> you may have seen a scene in, I think it was called Blood Brothers, um, with the Mapojos. And uh, there's a scene where they try to take over Sticks Pride. I was in that sighting and, you know, the, they only caught the tail end of the sighting in the video. Um, but yeah, the Mapojos are trying to take over the stick. I was, let's say, on higher left then. <laughs> Kimberly, welcome back. Kambula Pride's just regrouping here. Nam, we've known these lions since they're very little cubs. 
um, they tolerate us because they've had the vehicles around them all their lives. We drive in a very strict manner around them. So they're very comfortable with our presence and know exactly how we are going to behave. And are happy for us to be within such close proximity of, us, of them. If they weren't, they'd let us know about it. So as the crow flies, these lines are maybe a kilometer and a half from the northern of Ockermales with the two other Kambula lionesses. And actually they're probably about equidistant um, from the Gauri males and the northern of Ockermales. That <laughs> Kali, the entire Kambula pride came together with their take down a good sized elephant. Uh, Kali, the Kambula Pride aren't the greatest at hunting large game. Uh, part of the reason they split is that they specialize in hunting impalas. I say that tongue in cheek. They they do hunt impalas, and impala doesn't go a long way with a big pride like this. Um, but yeah, we've seen buffaloes chase them more than we've seen them chase buffaloes. Let's put it that way. So, no, nah, I don't think they'd be able to take down a herd of elephants. You know, some. Some prides specialize in taking out larger game, the Eiffeld pride, which is the pride that the Mapojos were born into. We knew the Mapojos as um, Loati males, uh, specialized in hunting giraffes. And they're also good buffalo hunters. Um, Kathleen asking, are they hunting buffalo more now? They were towards the end of last winter. Um, the lions in this area tend to hunt buffaloes more towards the end of winter when they have started losing condition and they had started hunting more buffaloes. You'll see a few of those YouTube videos up on our channel. But uh, since the rainy season has started, they haven't hunted too many, partly because they've been split up in twos and threes, and partly because the uh, buffaloes have regained their strength. Hi, Rian. Uh, Carly just talking about the Eiffeld Pride. Okay. Yeah, we had the, the last. Um, uh, they spoke of a lioness which fitted the description of the Eiffeld Pride or the Eiffeld lioness uh, who had a broken jaw. We haven't heard any more news since then, um, nor have we had any sign of her sub adults or had any more news of the sub adults. So, since that post, I think that was the last information we received about that pride. Steve, the lines are not um... Yeah, you're welcome, Leopard Lover. Uh, the, the, the lines... Sorry, I missed that now. I don't know how to bring these comments back up. Oh, there we go. No, Steve asking are the lions hunting? No, they're not. Right now they're just kind of regrouping. I see a lion in the distance. Um, walking towards the head of elephants. I'm sure it's going to give them a wide berth. Do we see Mulwati on Malo Malo? Dane, I'm not sure. Are, are you talking about the Mulwati male leopard? Um, if that's the case, we think we've seen him a few times. Uh, we do. If it's a, the same leopard, we, we might have videos up of, on YouTube of him. We do get a male leopard who's quite nervous of the vehicles come down the Mluati from time to time. Uh, the Mluati River actually joins the Sand River. The confluence of the Mluati River with the Sand River is right in front of our camp. Um, but yeah, I can't give you an accurate answer to that because we don't actually ever get a clear view of this leopard, so we couldn't be sure. Roll one, how's the young Kuhuma and Sticks male? I believe they were seen a few weeks ago. I can't remember where exactly. Um, but yeah, they're seen on the south of the property. I guess they're doing okay. There's one lion in the background there trying to make his way here. Yeah, so we're currently with one adult lioness. It looks like three young males here. There's some more lions trying to make their way to this position, but there's a herd of elephants in between them.
Okay. Uh, it's currently four lines at my position. I'm near Firebreak, south of Fred's Tree, uh, just the south of that shortcut to Plank's Pan. There are more lines approaching from across the valley to my south. There's a herd of elephants between those lines and these lines, and they're just watching each other from across the valley, contact calling from time to time. Elephants chase lions from time to time. Cameron, this is indeed afternoon standby for me. <laughs> I've been operating flat out since I got back uh, from leave. So yeah, the media department is growing here a bit. So Cameron Ings is one of the ex-rangers here who's moved down to the Cape to run a guest house. Uh, and yeah, it's called White Waters, I think. Am I right, Cameron? I had some guests that had been to your guest house that had a wonderful stay there. Um, just correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's called White Waters. Stations, I'll be on open mic for the rest of the drive. White Water Farm, there we go. Thanks for that. So if you guys are ever in Cape Town, near Stanford area, look up Whitewater Farm. It'll be hosted by Cameron, one of the ex-rangers here. And uh, apparently you've got a great set up there. You can see the elephants in the distance there now. Kathleen, please do come and visit. Uh, in Synth, the Martley Pride was seen, I think, about two, three days ago. Um, yeah, they're in good health. Yeah, we've had a season and um, you know, we are entering the dry season now where we start, this, the game viewing tends to increase in intensity and uh, we have been lucky because um, I see a lion way in the distance, so sort of top right of screen there's a bunch of dead trees the one in the middle that, that's slanting a bit to the right. It's just gone behind the bushes there. Um, but if you look to the left of that, you should see some lions kind of, or some movement, those are lions there. And they're headed this way. So we've had a, <laughs> we're getting into the sort of the business end of the game viewing season. Not quite yet, but we headed to winter and uh, winter is when all the action happens here. Yeah? Uh, deep into winter, we call it Mala Mala Madness, when there's just so much going on, we can't believe it. And um, it feels like this whole summer has been Mala Mala Madness. It's, we, with all the rain we've had, you wouldn't expect that because, you know, the bush has been really dense and thick. But uh, we've had some incredible game viewing and a lot of interaction, so it's been good. Barbara, they haven't um, made a clear... So they... 
they're kind of splitting quite randomly you know sometimes you see one sometimes you see two together sometimes you see eight together there's no clear split right now or no clear defined split right clearly defined split right now so we're trying to work it out ourselves at the moment obviously we report um every sighting we have but we are trying to figure it out ourselves Kimberly, the northern of Ockmales are not on the zebra kill currently. They're about a kilo, kilometre and a half north of us uh, with two Kambula lionesses. I don't know if they're mating with them. They were found this morning, um, but we know they're there now. I was actually on the way there earlier. The signal isn't great there, and I stumbled across, I stumbled upon this adult lioness, and she was contact calling and has managed to call the number of lions to her position. We're going to stay with these lions right now because at least we know their signal here. Um, I, I'm not sure where you're speaking of, Rian, but I do see lions, you know, kind of, not everywhere in the distance, but I do see a few lions. And uh, Cameron, if you're wondering, the Maxim's male has started to relax around vehicles. And he is a beast. <laughs> he's, uh, I think he's certainly the largest leopard. We've seen him in front of main camp, or 419, uh, quite a few times. And apparently he's been seen as far north as uh, some of the Sparta camps. He's definitely expanding his territory and... Uh, uh, the last three or four sightings I've had with him have been, he's been completely relaxed. So it's been a real pleasure having him about in the daylight. Uh, he's been mating with the Three Rivers female. I just say that because I think you have a clear photo of him. Barbara, we don't see the Senegal bush male all that much anymore. I think the Maxim's male has pushed him out of this area for the foreseeable future. He's moved west, so we actually don't see him here anymore. We did see the flat rock male here just the other day. And Kimberly, the Nkoveni female's two cubs are currently feeding on two impala kills just south of camp. And they are very relaxed around the vehicle, which is good news. And then obviously there's the island female and her cubs. There's been lots of mating leopards around. First, the uh, and Gobazwan male was mating with the Tlebe Rocks female. And then the Plaka Rock female was seen trying to mate with him yesterday. And then Maxim's male has been mating with the three year of his female. Thank you, Kathleen. We appreciate that. We were learning. You know, this is. Being rangers is uh, what we're more used to, not videographers, but we are learning and we are enjoying the process. So here we go, they finally arrived. Uh, Jans, yeah, we think that is going to happen in the near future. We've already watched the northern Avaka males chase one of the Gari males the other day. Unfortunately, it was difficult to film. Uh, but the prettier of the two Gary males was uh, making tracks with his tail between his legs, that's for sure. Okay. 
Jakub is now six lions at this position. Um, yeah, a lot of the pride have come from the south and I've now met up with that single lion. Shame. I think if they do get the opportunity to kill those lions, they will be. Um, but I think these lions are old enough to try and avoid that conflict, or rather, maybe young enough to try and avoid that con conflict. How's this feeling? Good. So for those of you that um, have been missing Pete, he finally got back out of Turkey. They let him out of, out of jail there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, Pete went over to give birth to his son in Turkey. Because that's what Pete does. He gives birth to boys. <laughs> but uh, glad to have him back here at Mala Mala. I'm sure you'll see him on a live stream soon. I don't know if you're all keen, but um, I know a lot of you are asking questions about the northern Avaka males. Maybe we should go and um, have a look if we can see if they're starting to get active now. And you have about 25 minutes of light left, so if we do want to see him, or see them rather, uh, then we should probably get going. Rian, it's very difficult at this stage to see how the lion dynamics are going to play out. At the moment, there's just lions scattered everywhere around the property. Kathleen Jones saying hi to Robin. Uh, Robin's currently on leave, but I will pass that message on to her. Okay, so... A few of you saying you'd like to see the evokers and one of two of you saying you'd like to see the gari males. Now it can't be at both places, so maybe we should have a vote here. There's one gari male in a good signal area, or there's a two northern avaka males in an area that's a little bit iffy. Yeah, Barbara, no, Jacques is, is not here anymore. He's in Cape Town. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about those trees in the distance there. Okay, I feel this is very difficult to judge here. Okay. Um, the one of those is a marula tree. And then the other, I think, is a jackalberry. I, I can't see it all that clearly, but it just looks like a jackalberry from here. But yeah, okay. I think let's let's maybe go past the um, northern Avaka males and see if there's a signal there. They do have two lionesses with them, so there might be a little bit more action than with the gari male, because it seems like you guys are divided here. Clearly looks like you all have favorites. Uh, checked him Loati spot west of uh, New Fabric west of Camel Copies. Okay.
success leaving the members of the Kambula Pride to 5 2. Keen to follow up in the northern of Ocker Males. The Fire Break, Wesley Campbell Copies. Kimberly is saying Vakas have we call cubs. Are you referring to the cubs that the uh, Nkuhuma pride were seen with recently? I believe they were brought onto Mala Mala, uh, I want to say almost a week ago. Um, we haven't been able to search that area all that well. Uh, but if you have news on them, also, let us know so we don't uh, spend our time looking for them because we did see a social media that were bought south in the Mluati River, which we can explore at this point. But there's another little tributary called the Nwana Nanan um, which is a bit too wet to explore at this moment, but that would make a good den site. Rosalind McDonald, welcome. Old Stick Den, question mark. Wow, now we're going back years. We're actually going to drive past one of the old stick stands, which is Campbell Copies. And that is more Kambula Pride territory at the moment. Well, yeah. Uh, Moomin Rider, the northern of Akamales have been on the property almost daily now. Um, and they have been in the heart, in fact, they're in the heart of the, the Gary Males territory now. And um, we're on the way to the northern of Waka Males. And they are close to Campbell Kopis. The Kopis after which the Kambula Pride are named, which is also the heart of the Gary Males territory. Uh, the Gary, the one Gary Male, the better looking of the two, um, is that was chased in one of my YouTube videos is currently lying just south of camp and they're not far apart so i'm off to the northern of Went this at the sunset quickly. It's very pretty. Sunsets are becoming a classic winter sunset with a big round red sun. So you might only have a few minutes with the uh, northern of Ock males, but let's go and at least do that. So we had an interesting sighting here, I'll say again, one of those ones that was difficult to film. Um, but <laughs> the Clebe Rocks female was mating just on the top of this rise here. Clebe Rocks female was mating with the Ngobazwan male. These are leopards now. And um, the Kambula pride was in this area. And it will rise right in front of us. They started looking and they came across the rutting impalas. And then Gobazwan's male started, mate, uh, started stalking towards the Ratting Impalas. 
and about 100 meters away, the Kambula Pride had also noticed the impalas and had started stalking Shima. towards the very same impalas. They were stalking in para parallel for a while until the leopards noticed the lions oh, okay, okay, okay. and decided to uh, to abandon the hunt very wisely. Like so I'm just going to, you know, they might just be within signal range. If they're not, I'm going to apologize in advance. Um, but let's just see if we can maybe get a look at them. Hi, Giraffe Girl. Welcome back. Anna Marie, yeah, it's a, I must say it's, it is an amazing experience coming here and you, yeah, you wouldn't be disappointed. I'm very grateful to work here and I'm never disappointed. Every single morning I get excited to get out there. Kathleen Jones asking any cheetah sightings. So we had those three cheetahs hanging around our airstrip for a few weeks. It's a mother and two young males. We haven't seen them in a while. We believe a cheetah crossed onto our property about three, four nights ago uh, to the south. No one actually followed up there, but there was another cheetah to our north along the Mluwati actually. Um, and there was about a 20 minute sighting of that cheetah before it crossed our boundary again. Okay, so I see here's one sleeping northern of Akamel. Um, for the most part, this bush is quite thick for cheetah. There are parts of the property where we do go to look for cheetahs, and they do tend to be more open areas. But it's not to say that we can't see them in the thicker areas. Um, yeah, you know, they might be passing through. So I just want to have a quick little drive around here, see if we can see the second of Akamel. I know he's here somewhere. I think he might be to the north of that line, so I'm driving in the complete wrong direction here. It's just a lot easier to drive forwards than backwards at the moment. I see the second Rakamel, he's head up, so let's go to him rather. Okay, so here's one, just here next to the road. We're going to go to the second one in a minute. Okay, we'll just say hello to him quickly. Woman rider, watch out for stumps. Yeah, so he just shot up there, and I don't know if it's because he heard roaring. Um, okay, so 
So there's a, so I don't know if this is what's aroused them. Giraffe here. And that would be very lucky if we watched these two hunt a giraffe. Giraffe's noticed his brother, but hasn't noticed this one right here yet. It's giraffe girl. Yes. Don't know if anybody can tell me whether they've seen these two lions hunt giraffes before, or whether they know whether they've killed any giraffes before. Here comes the brother. I'm just gonna move it. So to give you an idea how deep in the Gari males territory they are, behind this line is a kopi or a little granite outcrop. You can see a little hill in the background. So both the Kambula Prize, the Kambula Prize is actually named after that granite outcrop, which is called Campbell Kopis. And that is the heart of both the Kambula Prize territory and the Gari males territory. So, talk about um, being bold. These lines are certainly making their presence felt. Yeah, they are very far in the territory. They pretty much diagonal with Mala Mala or adjacent to Mala Mala main camp. Look at them, scent marking, scuffing his feet as well. Uh, this is, sure, from the northern boundary, it's, I want to say, maybe six kilometers, five, six kilometers, there and thereabouts. There's a herd of zebras running this way. This could get interesting. There's a herd of zebras running towards the northern of Akamales. Yeah, looking that direction. Missed what Donay said there, but you're definitely getting a lot of confirmation. I'm trying to see what Donay said there. Uh, people think the Birmingham boys or the guy males will give up without a fight. They're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel saying, do you think they will hunt tonight? It's hard to tell, Daniel. I must say, I haven't seen male lions hunt all that much. I've seen them, in this area at least, I've seen them scavenge way more than they hunt. I've seen them get involved in a few buffalo kills and, and that. But I must say, for the mo most part, and I've seen 
lions. It's been lions close by to the prides, and then it's the lionesses that hunt, and then the male lions that kind of bully them off of the kill. Um, I would like to see some male lions hunt, so maybe they'll hunt today. Doesn't look like they're interested there. Ramir asking, did you say the Gauri males will give up hands around? So it's these two, uh, these two northern Avaka males. Then there's the two Gauri males. Then there's the two, actually the two males coming in from Kruger are actually the most impressive males that we see um, from our east. And then there's the two southern Avaka males in the south of the property. And then there's the four Nzenga males that come onto the property from the west from time to time. You would have seen that Terrapin video for them. And then the young males, the young tortured male and the young sticks male that are around. But obviously they don't stand a chance at their age. But you know, we don't know what's happening east of our border in Kruger National Park. Um, you never know if a big coalition might just move in from there. Nice if they started to roar. Ramir, do you know where those males are in relation to Malo Malo? Um, Atul, the, the two males that we s saw a, a lot more of last year with the four ways pride um, are the males that I'm re referring to and um, I haven't personally seen them this year but a, a few guys that have seen them this year said they think it's the same males and they looked about the same age. Giraffe call, it's really difficult to tell at this stage, you know, we, we currently there's just lions everywhere. Whenever you drive around, you can expect to see a lion or a few lions here. Um, so it's, it's just, yeah, we're not quite sure how this is going to play out. We're just excited to see how it does. John males are brutal. I'm guessing those males are very far south in Kruger. Thanks. I just want to take this opportunity quickly to thank you all for supporting us and um, for all the comments you leave on our YouTube channel. We do appreciate your, um, so I'm just, here's some, 
spare, spare files alarm calling there. Uh, but yeah, we do appreciate all of the comments you leave on our page and we enjoy the interaction. At the moment, we're not getting around to answering all those comments um, just because we're very busy, but uh, we do notice them and we do appreciate them. And we will try and get around to answering them. Um, but we just want to thank you for your support and for liking and subscribing. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll have more for you in the, in the future. So, and lions, you know, lions are apex predators out here. So, you know, cheetahs are not going to kill a lion and lions breed prolifically. They are very much like rabbits when it comes to breeding. Um, the lionesses are either pregnant with cubs or mating. So, you know, they're always somewhere in the process of... Cheetahs need a lot more space than lions. You know, they have a home range which is far larger than most lions territories and then obviously they you know they've all the other larger predators are a threat to them you know they're quite slight animals although they're big and tall they're not actually very heavy or heavily built um you know lions could do damage to che cheetahs hyenas could do damage to te cheetahs leopards could do damage to cheetahs so you know they they have quite a tough life They're trying to avoid all the other predators they need more space than most of the other predators and um yeah you know there's not all that much space around anymore so <laughs> Barbara, there's not enough space for Nkumas and Kabulas. You're right, not not in this area. I'll have to try and you know, fight for this specific area here. As Pearl saying, I hope that the Birmingham boys or the Gari males uh, remain with the Kambula pride to help protect the new generation of cubs. As Pearl, I don't think they have you know they need a, they have a window period of about male lions have a window period of about three years to hold the territory and to hold that territory have cubs and to protect those cubs from other male lions and i think the um the gyri males have done as good a job as they can you know they have quite a lot of offspring with the kambula pride and those offspring have made it to a good age um, and are getting to the point where they will be independent. So I think they've done their job well enough. I don't think they'll be able to do it twice. I think they have come to the age now where they're just tipping over the hill. And um, yeah, you know, this is a sought after piece of land here for both lions and leopards. Um, partly because there's a lot of prey. And there's a lot of prey because there's a lot of water. We've got well over 20 kilometers of river frontage. And then, um, yeah, it's just got many other smaller river tributaries that flow into the river, as does the Manuleti River. And not only those two rivers, you know, you've got the Machapiri River and the Kapen River and the Chilahanga River that all flow into the uh, Sand River. Um, so it's absolutely prime property. So, you know, I don't think the Gauri males will last in this area too much longer. They'll be getting pressure from every which angle. And perhaps they'll move further, further south, but if they move further south, they're going to be encroaching on the southern Avoca males territory, so I don't know where they'll go. But uh, we'll just have to see how it plays out. Thanks, but it looks like these two are just. Um, Kind of losing interest now. All those prey species, the zebras and the giraffes have moved on. <laughs> it's funny reading the comments. Uh, I don't know, you said that last saying the southern JL, the southern avaca males don't play around. I think in this live stream today, um, 
there's been comments about all of the males saying they don't play around. So I think, yeah, I think you're all right. None of these lions play around. Barbara asking, have the sticks pride ever returned to Malamala? Barbara, we do see them from time to time. It's a, they're a funny pride because they, they almost became nomadic. You know, they, they've got like a 30 year history here at Malamala. And um, then they just almost became a nomadic pride and started moving all over the Sabi Sands area. Uh, we, and we do see them from time to time. In fact, that uh, video that's doing the rounds now, of the two lions, the one lioness and the one male lion, um, with the terrapins, uh, that lioness was a sticks lion. So yeah, they have been on the property recently. Um, just, folks, I'm going to. I'm. I'm. I hear there's an impala alarm calling me. I want to see what. So we're going to leave these lions to themselves and just see what that impala is alarm calling at. Uh, I suspect there's another predator in this area. Oh, it's uh, one of the lionesses here. There we go. This is what they. This is what they're snorting at. One of the Kambula lions. So you see how complicated it's getting now. These Kambula lionesses are, you know, spending a lot of time with the northern Avaka males. Okay, she's now lying down. Folks, I think we're going to call it a day. And I just wanted to say thank you all. Um, thank you all for joining me. I don't know if this is going to turn around. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, oops, let's go that way. Thank you all for joining me this afternoon. It's been absolutely lovely taking out and drive. And we look forward to more of these live streams. So keep an eye on our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to it yet, please do. And then click that bell icon so that at least you can see um, when we do live stream, we are trying to live stream more and more often. Okay, but for me, I'm going to say good night. Have a lovely evening. How do I end this? <laughs> okay, there we go. It's been a while.